Hello friends, my name is Razam Su. Today we will discuss about a topic, a Scrum Theory. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important. If you are a student and are studying project management in university or you are uh, planning to give exam of uh, Scrum or Agile uh, in university or any certification program, so this topic is very important and uh, at least four to five questions will definitely be there in the exam uh, in which your concept related to scrum theory will be checked so also if you are a professional project manager in working in any organization as uh, already as a professional uh, either you are a product owner scrum master or you are belong to some uh, scrum team so again this topic is important to understand the concept mean crux mean theory of a scrum to understand and to implement in the uh, in, pro in professional implementation life of uh, software development projects so friend let's uh, start first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start scrum theory um, friend first of all we have to understand that what does it mean by scrum actually before going into the deep because scrum theory is our main topic first of all we have to understand what is actually a scrum uh, scrum is a theory scrum is a framework which is based on the agile okay now what is agile agile is a methodology which we use to implement the projects and it is it says that uh, projects should be flexible should be adoptable and should be based on iterative approach a scrum is a framework which use the concept of agile and we use this concept for the implementation of software projects here I just want to give you a very simple example just to explain the main concept of a scrum actually friend a scrum means uh, like for example just take for an example like you are implementing you have to implement an e-commerce solution for ABC customer okay as a project manager and uh, you have identified that there are 40 tasks in the e-commerce solution which you have to deliver if you implement the project by using the waterfall approach so waterfall approach says that we have to plan develop test and deploy all 40 tasks at once like we plan all the 40 tasks then develop all the 40 tasks then test all the 40 tasks and then deploy all the 40 tasks to the customer so all these things will go step by step in waterfall approach the traditional approach of uh, software development and we cannot go back that means like if we started the testing phase we cannot go back in the development phase actually once the dev testing phase start we have to complete the testing phase once the deployment phase start so we have to complete the development at uh, deployment phase we cannot go back in the development phase okay so step by step and in sequential mat manner first of all like plan develop test and then deployment so this is the approach of waterfall approach now wh where comes how come the scrum now into the picture the scrum says that we have to for example take the same example of uh, e-commerce like uh, there are 40 tasks in the e-commerce solution and we have to implement it using the scrum framework so what you do here comes the concept of sprint game like a sprint is a three to four weeks time period in which like we can say we will take 10 tasks and uh, sprint one will contain 10 tasks we will plan develop test and deploy the first 10 tasks of the sprint sprint is a three to four weeks time period then we take the next 10 tasks for the sprint 2 and then again plan develop test and deploy it to the customer sprint 3 will contain the next 10 tasks and sprint 4 will contain the next 10 tasks so till we reach at a sprint 4 we complete all the 40 tasks of a project so that is called at uh, the uh, framework of a scrum in which what we do like we divide the task in sprints sprints is, is a three to four weeks time period and we deliver the task we deliver the things to customer in chunks 
not in one go actually the main objective and the main advantage of a scrum is that we get the feedback of customer at a very early stage of a project this is the main uh, thing a main uh, the biggest advantage of scrum framework is that we got the feedback of a customer at a very early stage of a project so if there is any mistake if there is any problem uh, so we can uh, we can do the corrective action at a very early stage of, uh, of a project however in the uh, traditional uh, waterfall approach uh, actually what happened that uh, we got the feedback of customer at a very later stage of a project when we are doing the user acceptance testing so at that moment of time uh, the corrections are very difficult to accommodate in the development uh, because all things are already organized all functionality already developed actually now friend if you can understand the concept of a scrum a scrum framework we can talk about now the scrum theory what is a scrum theory actually a scrum theory says that friend a scrum is based on the theory of empirical process like uh, empirical process control which relies on transparency inspection and adaptation friend uh, we can say uh, if you just see from here scrum building or a scrum framework is based on three pillars transparency inspection and adaptation these are the three uh, pillars on which the whole building was scrum based on remember transparency inspection adaptation so now what does it mean friend actually one by one we will see transparency friend whenever we are taking any decisions when we are whenever we are uh, any setting timelines etc so things should be very clear everyone uh, the whole team like uh, there are three main roles you know uh, product owner scrum master and the scrum team so the things should be very clear among the team members whatever the communication are going on whatever the timelines we are setting uh, when we have to deliver what are the customer requirements uh, what is the customer feedback what mistakes we are doing uh, what things are going wrong so etc etc in a transparency means friend that you should have to be transparent things should be crystal clear things should not be hidden <coughs> are you getting my point things should not be hidden or under the table all things should be clear whatever the problems are coming it should be openly discussed among the team members there should not be any ambiguity there should not be any uh, miscommunication among the team members then the inspection to prevent deviation from the desired process or product people need to inspect inspection means friend that we must have to inspect the testing should be there whatever the customer requirement is there we must have to check it properly we must have to uh, inspect it properly the testing proper testing should be there we must have to ensure that whatever we have uh, we have uh, uh, we have committed we should have to deliver it properly adaptation means that friend whenever devi deviation occur the process of product should be adjusted for example adaptation means friend that initially the customer needs something else after some time customer feedback was different customer needs some change in the process some change in the uh, product so actually honestly the adaptation is more in the same framework and we have to adopt we have to adjust ourselves the process according to the needs and according to the feedback of customer so adaptation is more in the uh, uh, scrum framework so remember friend one thing that whatever the process we are making whatever the things we are making it should have to be flexible it should have to be adaptable uh, with reference to with respect to customer feedback with reference to uh, scrum team it should not be very rigid it should be adaptable adaptation should be there then the next thing is very important iterative approach friend iterative means that a process for arriving at a decision or a desired result by repeating rounds of analysis friend and this scrum says the iterative approach iterative means the sprint approach like with a passage of time with a, uh, with each and every iteration the things will become better and improve 
incremental approach is there incremental means a series of small improvements to an existing product or product line that usually helps maintain or improve its uh, competitive position over time friend uh, uh, every time we increment something we improve something so like for example improvement means incremental means that improvement in the process improvement in the demo improvement in the product so each time we increment something we improve something and with the passage of time things will become mature things will become strong and better and uh, best so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues thank you thanks a lot for your time thank you